Hello everyone and welcome back to our Victoria 2 campaign as Goyce Deutschland or Germany. When we at last left off we had fought a series of Italian wars and let's unpause and get the game rolling again. So we've sent all the armies getting ready to move eastwards. And all this stuff we don't really care about. All we need is our infamy to keep dropping. And then we'll start justifying war against Sweden once our truce expires. As for the diplomacy game, what are we doing? We are trying to get Peru and Bolivia into our sphere. Which should be done quite easily. No, those are just more ships completing. Ooh. Well, we are at peace, so. Say say Cobra Gotha has a rebellion. Oh and a sizable one to boot. The arm the army heading to Konigsberg can be diverted for a short moment. Who are these? Whatever it is, they won't stand up to our good German soldiers. Hopefully there aren't some filthy revolutionaries or something. They've been exterminated. And our troops are in position on the eastern front. Technically we're justifying against Sweden so France should not be pulled in. Meantime what's happening to our budget? It's probably because of the stockpiling. The price of artillery especially has been quite terrible. Long live Germany. Let's look at this. Here's our opinion in Bolivia. We're now cordial. Where's our... Gosh, why the hell do we build a port here? We should have built it in midway. Intervene eventually. We have 45 Polish. How's research going? Our generals are dying. Portugal goes bankrupt. What on earth is this infantry for? Something doesn't add up here. Our some of our army is not balanced properly. 
Well, this army definitely goes here. 525, 2, 5, 4, 2, 5, 5, 2, 5, 5, 2, 5, 5, 2, 5, 5, 6, 2, 4. There's an extra infantry here. This army needs an extra cavalry. Are we building it? Yes, we are. The Lake Horn. What about this army then? It lacks an artillery. We'll fix that. As for the Lublin infantry, they can actually be the nucleus of a new army. Let's start building it up then. One, two, three, four. Sar Sar Hussar, Hussar Four North Italian artillery And an engineer Come on. Thank you. So let's just let the game roll for a little bit longer. Hopefully after a while some of the little German minor states will be annexed into our country again. I don't think there's any more one province minors that we want to release. Actually, let's temper with the economy for a bit. Let's see what happens if we reduce all of our subsidies again. Let's do it, Luxembourg. And let's release them again. LLL. Luxembourg. At least they're the top level railways right now. Oh, Magna is terrible. Mesovia, we don't have a choice. As person, we have a lumber mill. But we don't need this anymore.
Long live Germany. Looks like we don't need this factory anymore. Let's subsidize everything and hopefully all the craftsmen will go back to work. All the setup is poison where they they're still burning up stuff. In time. We need more of these little miners to be annexed. Let's do it Hamburg. We'll release you once again. Thank you. For that free prestige. Oh our truce has expired. Time to justify conquest. And well, we will wait. Peru can be added to our sphere. The Lynn's Patrimony. Social science is done. What shall we research next? Hmm, politics. Any decisions we can rush for? Movement decisions. Still steamers. I mean, I guess we could go for this. It'll take a year, but... Well... After we did it, we can get... Ship repair speed and local ship building time until the end of the game, which is going to be quite useful. Excellent. Literacy is increasing by 0.1 a month, which is going to add up very quickly. Pression is literature. Afterwards, we might as well start researching the increase in naval bases. War justification going on just fine. Long live Germany. Let's rearrange the troops here. And we'll take the 10th core back to its positions. Gives a hood about their religion. Let's do it Luxembourg again. Let's release you one more time. It's just amazing how much more we are able to wage and still have zero infamy.
Long live Germany. Verdun is now a German call. That's amazing. More liberal, please. Intervene eventually. Venice is now a German call. It's one faith and one faith only. Still recruiting a hussar. We don't want that, we actually want the... Let's see, the 15th call can head over to Elastine. Let's hope we have a good leader. Or what happened to the good German leaders? Have they all disappeared? This guy isn't half bad. 16.4 infamy. It's one faith and one faith only. Who gives a hood about their religion? Long live Germany. Let's do it, Luxembourg. Again. Surprisingly, release them one more time. Slowly cut away at our infamy. Oh, but let's speed things up. At this rate, we're never going to go to war. Flexible contact attacks. Oh no, not planned economy, <laughs> that was a misclick. Is you need to learn how to adapt. We literally have a wall of men from... That sounded like a naval base. Carlac. Oh nice. Some of the tier 3 naval bases are starting to appear. Which is great news. Probably means we can afford to drop another round of ironclads. Or maybe not as many as I thought. We are patriots and we are going to fight for our country. Let's increase our opinion in Bolivia. We'll Take charge of the crisis, and we will end it immediately. Cause we are strong. This is a great idea. We'll do that. Devin eventually. Let's do it, Hamburg. Let's release you. And but there's one faith and one faith only. How goes the Polish thoughts? 
engineers need to learn how to adapt. Let's do it, sexy Cobra Gotha. Politics for this nation. And look at that, infamy is close to zero again. Which is crazy, all things considered. Let's start decreasing our relationship with two Sicilies and form an alliance with Belgium. What are you talking about? Come on, just give me my Cassus Valley. It's 1881, we don't have that many years left. Long live Germany. We'll annex some of these nations for good and wait until the next possible opportunity to reach them. Hurry up, hurry up, Jeffy. Let's do it, sexy copper gotta. Ah, rebels. Very, Hamar, Strasbourg. You are really going to make me march all the way back, won't you? This isn't that bad. All these guys can just actually prepare themselves to attack Sweden from the north. I just quickly help Moldavia take care of their own rebels. Mission to Sweden. Organize a crackdown. Oh, jingoism, please. Sure, patrimony. And well, look at the time. Would you look at the time? It's time to declare war. Declare war on Sweden. Let's start justifying against the two Sicilies. We'll wait one day. And Russia is in. And goodbye, Russia. army is literally messed on the Russian border for this moment. Let's see how the opening maneuvers turn out. Ah, we weren't expecting the shitty... What on earth is this? We have crushed the Russian army by L stop. The war is not going well enough. Okay then, let's send out the navy. We have fu almost fully, we have done with our first occupations of Russia. And now we're just rolling in. Pushing deeper. Can we add a wall goal yet? Yes we can, let's acquire a state. What state shall we take from Russia? Hmm. Well, it 
if we want to colonize this portion of Alaska, which is somehow still uncolonized, we can probably go for Kamchatka. But it's honestly such a bad province; is not worth it in my opinion. We shall slowly nibble away the Russian monster, but where? Crimea would be nice actually. Or we could just solidify our control over the Baltic by taking another one of the Baltic states. You know what, let's go for which one is higher. We'll choose between either Lithuania or Crimea. Okay, we'll go for Lithuania then. Quiet Lithuania. Somehow worth more in Russian eyes. And I think this is I think this is a decent place to end this episode. So we've finally begun the war in the east. We are currently justifying against two Sicilies where well, we're gonna bash their faces in and the Belgians, our allies now, hope to oppose us. We will crush them too. So, hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you want to see more and put anything you want to say in the comments below. I'll see you guys next time where we will probably annex Sweden, take a chunk up more out of Russia and possibly go even, go even further westwards. So I'll see you guys next time. Until then, take care.